Okay, I'm going to show you some different wiring methods that are applicable for uh, C Electrical. This is V8R1. Uh, and these methods apply to the standard and advanced versions. So, what we're going to look at first of all is using the out of the box default method of working with potentials. So, when I put a top potential, it has just one value, which is the whole potential going across the top. If I hold down control, drag that down, and say that that's a neutral, I've got two of those in there. On the second page, this is a simple two page project. I'm going to put in some extra potentials here and I'm going to link them from this page. Now we can use the electrical single wire command to double click at the end of a wire. Now that allows us to continue the wire onto another page. So if I say that that's 24 volt, double click at the bottom one and put that at zero volt. And if I go to the next page, I can add a top either using this or the top one here for a top potential and using DB I can pick up the 24 volt and continue it on this page and across the project and I can then do the same sort of thing if I choose the bottom command clear T DB again and 0 volt now with this default method of um, connecting everything looks correct and is fine on the drawing but just be aware that in the database the connectivity is slightly different to perhaps what you expect. So under View Terminals, we have a list of these terminals. I'm just going to right click, View Horizontal tab, so I can see the wiring on here and also what we've got underneath. So for Terminal 24V and 0 volt, scroll across, I can see that the connectivity, so on the actual graphical lists, I would see that from the terminal, we're connected to the transformer, but we're not then connected to the other page. So it doesn't actually go onto the next device, onto a start device. The only connections we see are, are on 25, it's connected to the stop and also to 24 volt, which is this potential. So it doesn't show as being connected to or from the previous device there. And very similar thing with view wires. We can see the very same sort of information here that we've got a connection from 24 V to terminal 25 and 26 um, but they're not actually they're connecting directly to the actual potentials when we look at the start and the lamp and again I'm going to put that as being horizontal and we'll see let's just drag that down underneath um, so for lamp 1 we can see it's connected not to the next device but to 0 volt down to this potential now a very quick thing we can do here under commands we can type a command pot ref and that changes the potential from being a reference to the next device so if we type that press enter it says this is going to make potential or searching targets over the potential as active we have to save the project reopen it and just regenerate the database before we continue so we click OK file save and then file regenerate database we'll say yes to that and now when we look at the actual data information, so we go back to workspace and let's start with view terminals, right click and put it as been a horizontal tab just to remind us. And as we go across for this first one, we'll see that the targets here for the first terminal, 24V, are both the transformer and that top push button. So from the actual terminal we're connected to the transformer and through this reference through this onto the actual first device here so we now see that the target is continued throughout this potential so this is one way of working which um, may be a better way of working in some situations I'm just gonna run that so it turns off click on yes go to file and save and then choose file and regenerate database say so yes to the operation there and then just double check that when we look at view terminals, we are seeing that the actual target is not the uh, uh, working through the potential. So the next thing is to look at a completely different way of working with the potentials. And that's using split off page references, split OPR. So I'm going to remove the potentials from this page and remove these potentials and remove the ones at the top. And it's important that if you use this method, split OPR, that you only use macros or groups that use this type of referencing. So if you've already created lots of projects, um, you may have to really think about whether you want to use this or not. So when you go to commands, you can then type split 
OPR. Are you sure you really want to run this? So we'll say yes. And we need to close this before it becomes active. So we'll go to File, Close, and say yes to save the changes. We're going to go back and open up that project. And the first thing is when we now start putting in top and bottom potentials, let me just zoom in a bit to the right here. As we place this in, we'll see that they're actually made up of references on both ends with a source as being dollar one and a target as being dollar zero. So we can still carry on and call it L1. We can drag that down and call that N. But notice that when we double click on one of these, we get to see the wire information, not the product of the actual potential. So this is effectively a grouping made up of a wire with arrows on both ends. If we want to continue and put individual references between pages, we must change our standard symbols or system references to use a different set. To do this, we right click on a section of the menu, go down to properties for the symbols, scroll down until we find the system database. And we make sure we can see it for circuit diagram. So we change the off to on and OK. Now, when we scroll down, we can find system. And in there, we've got two different references. One is a standard one or the default. And we can rename that. We can go down to properties. And change that to say original. I then take off. On this one, again, properties, take off the split OPR. And the reason for that is that when I double click at the end of a wire using the single wire command, it's going to use one of these arrows. We've now told it to use a different set. So we go to single wire, double click at the end. Notice we've got the same format. This is a source. And we're going to type in there 24V. I'm going to put it as uppercase so we don't make any mistakes. And then double click and put this as being 0V. On the next page, we can then carry on. Wherever it finds a target after a source, we'll find that it will link together. So if we do a search on that and say that's 24V, click OK, then it's linked in. And the same thing with the bottom one. We can do a search using DB and pick up the zero volt. Straight away, we can go into database, view terminals. I'm just going to put that as a horizontal tab group so we can see the two together. And remember, we've got the 24V terminal here connected between a transformer and on the next page, the start push button. So if we scroll across, you can see that those two connections are shown automatically. So that information is coming in automatically using split OPR, but it's a method we have to use going forwards. And it means that this section here is seen as a wire and we've got references on both ends.